Hi everybody, this is Brian James from Rhino3D.com and in this quick Rhino 7 tip I want to talk about decals. So I have an object here, a sub D surface, and I want to add a label to the front of it. If I select it and go into the properties panel, there is a decals section. The decals section has a plus symbol. You can click that and you can find your label graphic. I'm going to choose a PNG file here that has transparency around some text. And when I choose that image and open it, I get mapping style choices. These are primitive ways to project the decal onto the object. I'll choose planar and a direction of forward. The command line then prompts me for specifying a rectangle. I want it centered on my object, so I'll click the center option. And then I'll use an O snap on my sub D here to make sure that it's centered. As I drag it out, the image maintains its aspect ratio so the font doesn't change. And you can see it in rendered mode off to the side. Once that decal is applied, the object is still selected and in the properties panel you'll see the decal in the list now for that object. There's an icon to the right where you can show the mapping widget for the decal. And this dashed line can be selected and that allows you to move it around. Clicking the icon again will hide the mapping widget. If I select the object again, I can add additional decals with that plus button. This time I'll pick a Rhino head here that also has transparency around the graphic. It's a PNG file, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's transparency. PNG will support transparency only if it was saved within the image. Again, I'll choose planar and a forward direction. I'll use the center option one more time and drag out the head graphic. Now this object has two decals, but I want the text to be on top of the head graphic so I can select the text and then drag it above the head graphic. You can turn on the decal mapping widget for both of these and adjust them. If you would like to scale these, make sure to hold down the shift key when doing a two axis scale on the gumball or a three axis scale. As long as the shift key is held down, you won't change the image aspect ratio. This is important for logos. Each of these decals has additional options in the properties section. You can change the transparency of a specific decal or the direction that it's being projected. But if you'd like to change the projection method, you'll have to remake the decal. So here I can change the Rhino head graphic to 50% transparency. And now more of the material is showing through. These decals will show up in rendered mode, which is what I've been using. They'll also show up in ray traced mode and when you run the render command. And that's how you use decals in Rhino 7. Thanks for watching.